So let's fly over the campuses of the False Bay College. And I want to start off with you imagining what this area was like 20,000 years ago when the ice caps had frozen far more, the world was colder, and all the sea you can see around you was actually land at that point because it had been absorbed by the ice caps on our two poles. And that is what it looked like for 90% of the last 2 million years. But every now and then what would happen is the earth would warm up and when it did, the poles would melt and then the sea would come flooding in. So this area we're traveling over now on our way to Fishhook was filled in with sea and this Cape Peninsula area ahead of you was just an island with Table Mountain being another island. So much of the evidence of our ancient human beings having lived here hundreds of thousands of years ago has actually been obliterated by the sea coming in and out. But over the last couple of hundred years, there's been a very different history of obliteration over here with the attempt to ensure that both our so-called black and colored peoples living in this area were forced out of False Bay and out backwards into Masi Pumalela and Ocean View. And it is this history of racism, separate development, forced relocation and apartheid that False Bay College is starting to address. So now at this excellent campus which actually has got really good facilities for students with disabilities and is completely integrated with wonderful open learning centers with good internet access for the students and a good astro turf for netball and it's over here that you can do all the business management and financial management and hr management and public management courses and on top of that you can do information and communications technology courses and as we pull out, I want to celebrate that students from Masi Pumalele who had to fight just to live in that area. And also students from Ocean View who historically have been relocated from all sorts of patches to make places like Fishhook and Murtuk and Simonstown more white are now able to go to the Fishhook campus. And it still blows my mind to imagine all of this sea areas being filled with land just 20,000 years ago. Now we're kind of flying from Long Beach and Hart Bay and we're taking the more privileged white route, if I have to call it that, through the rich areas of Constantia with the wine farms. And we're flying through to Kai to the West Lake campus. And you'll immediately see that it's a highly privileged area with all sorts of golfing estates on the one side and retirement villages on the other side. And it's over here in that small little business zone that you have the West Lake campus. And it's over here that you can do all sorts of engineering courses, often industry specific. So you've got electrical and motor and plumbing and welding and fitting and turning and carpentry. You can even do a national certificate in yacht and boat building. The center of specialization for mechanical fitting is over here. And that's where you make and install and repair heavy machinery. And you learn to use tools that grind and mill and shape raw materials and then you assemble them into a final product. And this also, by the way, is where a good student residence is for the occupational programs for students who stay around about 40 kilometers away. And right nearby is Polesmoor Prison. And it's actually more like five prisons, which you can see spread all around you for the different types of people. And they're really struggling with gangsterism over here between the 26s and the 27s and the 28s. With these gangs being a response to the huge amounts of poverty and inequality in Cape Town as a whole. And to get a sense of that, let's do a radical pull out over all of Cape Town, not just the beautiful green suburbs around Table Mountain, but all the working class areas which have been forcibly subdivided into black areas around Kailicha and then supposedly colored areas around Mitchell's Plain. And it's this context that both the TVET colleges on the one side are trying to work with and assist, but it's also the zone where you have this gang culture permeating these areas as they fight for the limited resources. And we're going to swoop down the Cape Flats, past Kailicha, past Mitchell's Plain, past Philippi, and into Musenberg, a more historically white area with white beaches where people came on their holidays and all the various rich people from Joburg built their mansions. And it's over here that we have the Musenberg campus. 
This is where you can do hospitality and you can do tourism and you can actually also do TD animation. It's got a wonderful training restaurant which actually overlooks the beach. I've been there. They serve really good food. You've got an open learning center fully equipped with computers and good internet connections. You've got all sorts of occupational programs. Things like being a kitchen cleaner, for example, or being a table attendant. Now these are kind of level two courses which you can do which qualify you specifically only in that occupation and you can also do a hotel receptionist course which is about a level four course so now let's do a radical pullback out of the historically white musenberg with its surfing beaches on the one side and then track the false bay coastline along through philippi which you can see over there with its huge agricultural vegetable supplies for cape town and then past mitchell's plain which was an historically established forced colored area and then towards kailicha which was an historically forced black area where in in the 1980s the apartheid government tried to force basically all the black people living in and around Cape Town into this huge zone and it's a celebration of human spirit that actually when you go there now you can find spaza shops and small little industries all trying creatively to do something with the terrible mess that's been constructed by apartheid and it's over here that you have the Kailicha campus now it's got excellent electrical and motor workshops. You can do subjects like automotive repair, motor mechanics, electrical engineering, engineering and related design with some welding attached to it as well. You've got business qualifications over there. So you can do the HR, the financial management, the business management and the public management, the one which actually gets you to work in the state sector, plus office administration and ICT and education studies and educare. So it's a multi-purpose campus. And what you're going to see is that False Bay College has now started to target this Kaya Leecher come Mitchell's Plain area for the development of their future sites. So to get a sense of it, let's do a radical pull out with Kaya Leecher above us. And then you'll see that we're going to go over the Swatclip campus on your left. And then slowly we're going to come over Mitchell's Plain with a campus right near the Mitchell's Plain town center. And then you're going to see the new campus, which is planned right near Strandfontein, where that terrible decision was made during COVID times to set up huge tents to house the homeless from all over Cape Town. Now, then you'll see the Strandfontein sewer works where much of the effluent from Mitchell's Plain is purified and then discharged into the False Bay Sea. It's also where Zia Kui Flay is and there's lots of bird watching going on there. And then right behind that is Philippi. What makes this such a wonderful agricultural site is number one, well, it's right near Cape Town, but number two, it's got this huge natural aquifer underneath, enabling year-round access to water. And then next to that is Mitchell's Plain. And what I want you to look out for is how it was designed in this kind of suburb way, which each area would have its own school and its own kind of facilities. But notice it's a dormitory suburb. In other words, people come here to sleep and then they're forced to go work out in the industrial areas of Cape Town, not in Mitchell's Plain or in Kailicha itself. Now, located between Mitchell's Plain and Kailicha is the Swartklip campus. Now, this used to be the old Danal munitions grounds, and it had to be cancelled over here because they were scared that the explosions would cause huge damage in and around the area. And it's very new, and there's exciting and new investments going on over here. But especially what's happening is this is the center of specialization for rigging. Now, that's really when you're lifting materials, like moving heavy objects. You've got to lift and slide and roll equipment from one place to another. And the apartheid government really hoped that they'd make Mitchell's Plain like this kind of ideal place to live with nice suburbs. And they used to try and show it off and model it. But then they have tried to send all our supposed colored people off to Atlantis. So there have been absurd things going on here. Like, for example, this attempt to set up a dedicated, supposedly colored swimming beach separate from Musenberg for the whites with its large tidal pool and a hope that this would be a wonderful place for only colored people to come. Really absurd apartheid imagination going on over here. 
But even so, Mitchell's plane has struggled against that huge apartheid legacy and started to set up its own industrial centers, its own town centers, where it's not a dormitory suburb anymore, where there actually are places of work and industries for the people working in the local area. And this is what makes False Bay College such an exciting college to work with and think about because it's really engaging with these spaces, the Kaya Leeches and the Mitchell Plains of South Africa and trying to do huge investments over here. So here you can do engineering and business and ICT and hospitality and education studies. But there's centers for entrepreneurship and rapid incubators where people can learn how to set up businesses. There's lots of occupational programs. You can be fitters and riggers and computer technicians and bricklayers and auto mechanics and panel beaters and electricians. You can even do a renewable energy kind of qualification with this new solar photovoltaic technician qualification. And as we do the final pullback over this scarred colonial apartheid landscape with the historically set up and insisted upon black Kyle Leacher and colored Mitchell's plane and then white Musenberg Westlake and Fishhook. We now have this college working in an excellent way with all our people and uplifting us all to ensure that we can pursue a better future in the new South Africa.